Another nice workflow feature found in the Substance for 3ds Max plugin is the ability that we have to use the 3ds Max asset library to both download and manage Substance files acquired from the Substance Source website. Now, just in case you aren't familiar with either the 3ds Max asset library or with Substance Source, let's just briefly touch on what they are, starting with the asset library which essentially is a connected but separate program from 3ds Max that gives us the ability to quickly and easily access and manage 3D content on both local and network storage drives using a single viewing space. This can help make content, particularly Max content, instantly searchable and hopefully findable. Once located, we can even decide just how we want to work with an asset in Max, as we also have the ability to add objects to a scene using the XREF Scene Merge and Scene Replace options. To open the asset library from inside 3ds Max, all we need to do is come to the Content menu and launch the application from there. If we don't already have the asset library installed, which we possibly won't have given that it isn't a part of the actual Max installation, then we will at this point be taken to the Autodesk App Store at apps.autodesk.com where we can search for and download it. Once we install that and then restart 3ds Max, coming to the content menu and clicking on the asset library option will now open up the standalone program for us. Substance Source, which we can now see as an entry in the Asset Library's Locations list, is a subscription-based service from Algorithmic that gives users access to an online library of substance materials that can be purchased, downloaded and used in both personal and commercial projects. Now this shouldn't be confused with the Substance Share site, which also is a site provided by Algorithmic, but one that in this instance is a community-based free exchange platform on which users can both submit and download Substance materials along with other useful assets such as brushes, filters, effects and more. Coming back to the 3ds Max Asset Library, the brilliant thing here is that we can, as we say, along with all of our other CG assets, now browse for, buy, download and manage our substance materials in one easy-to-use, Max-centric organisation tool. When we click on a Substance Source category, we get a complete list of the substance materials housed there. We can easily swap over to a thumbnail view if we like, although this isn't essential because as soon as we click on a material type, we get a nice set of preview images showing up on the right hand side of the UI, giving us the ability to get a good look at what the material really looks like. We can even load a Sketchfab 3D model with the material already applied if we want so that we can take a good look around it. If this is a material that we have already purchased, then we will be able to download and organise it from here. If not, of course, then we see this Buy Now button, along with the price that we will have to pay using pre-purchased Substance Source credits. Although, before we can go through with any transactions or downloads, we will need to come to the External Stores dialog and connect our Substance Source account to the Asset Library system. Now again, while this may not be a hugely impressive texturing feature in the plugin, it is yet another workflow enhancement that can help save us quite a bit of time when wanting to use assets from the Substance Source website in our 3ds Max projects.